Welcome to the demo of S3 and VPC endpoints. So in this demo, I'll show you how to create the gateway style VPC endpoints, the interface style VPC endpoints, and how you can access S3 via these endpoints. A quick recap, gateway endpoints provide access to S3 via VPC, and interface endpoints provide access to S3 via private IPs directly from on-premises or in a cross-region application. Let's get started. So we'll go to the AWS Management Console. And under Services, I'll select Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC. And in the left-hand navigation page, I will select Endpoints, and then Create Endpoint. Make sure you're in the right region where you're provisioning the endpoint. And then we'll go ahead and type S3 in the search bar, and then select the gateway style endpoint. You'll see the create endpoint page appear in, in the console. Select the correct VPC. And next, we will configure a routing table in, your, in our VPC. So when you configure that, a routing rule with the destination S3, so in our case is US East 1, S3 DNS name, and target the gateway VPC endpoint will be added. In this example, I have my default root table, which is associated with all six subnets. So then any application accessing S3 would route via the gateway endpoint in this VPC. Next, I'll show you how to configure VPC endpoint policies using the S3 resource account condition key. So we'll scroll down and select custom and I've already prepared the, the endpoint policy, which I can paste. So I'll select custom and then paste the endpoint policies. Note the resource account condition key and that this allows list, put, and get object action. We'll give it a name, we'll call it gateway, demo gateway endpoint. We'll hit the create endpoint and the endpoint gets created. We'll close it out and go back into the endpoints page. So now that the gateway endpoint is created, I can go back into my routing table and check if the routing rule is added. So in the navigation page, select route table. And under details page and routes tab, you will see the new routing rule which has the destination S3 and the VPC EID of my gateway endpoint. Let's go back to the endpoint page, and this time we'll create the interface endpoint. So back in endpoints, select create endpoint. Make sure in the right region again, um, type S3. And this time, select the interface style endpoint. Note the difference between the two. So instead of routing, configuring a routing table, for interface endpoints, we're provisioning Elastic Network Interface, or ENIs, across multiple AZs and subnets. We don't currently support private DNS names for S3 interface endpoints, because that allows us to use both endpoints in the same VPC via the endpoint-specific DNS names. Next, we'll configure the security groups. In this example, I'm using my default security group that's already configured to allow access to IAM users in my organization. Next, we'll configure the endpoint policy in the same way as we did for the gateway endpoint. So I'll go ahead and select my uh, the custom uh, under policy. And I'll paste the same endpoint policies as, as we used for the gateway endpoint. We'll go ahead and give this a name as well. We'll call it demo interface endpoint. And simply hit create endpoint. You can see the endpoint is created. But when in the endpoint page, the endpoint is in the pending status 
and it takes a few seconds before it becomes available. I've already created another interface style endpoint, which is called the demo interface endpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'll show you the DNS names for that interface endpoint. And make sure the security groups across your IAMs and interface endpoints are properly configured to allow access. So under the details page, you can see the, the regional level DNS names and the zone specific DNS names as well, which are specific to the ENIs in that specific AZ. So for this demo, I've already created a demo bucket called demo pi day pk. And I have an EC2 instance that I have logged into, into my terminal that I'm going to use to access S3 via both of these endpoints. First, I will use the interface style endpoints. I'll bring on my terminal, the EC2 instance terminal. First, we'll check the IP addresses of the endpoint specific names of the interface style endpoints. So I'll use my bucket name, the demo pi day pk. I'll go back to the console to paste the endpoint specific DNS names. So I'll copy the region, regional endpoint specific DNS name from the console under the details page. I'll go back and paste it and resolve the DNS names. And you can see I get all six IP addresses of the six ENIs I have provisioned. Next, I'll use the interface endpoint to get the list the object in my demo bucket. So I'll use the endpoint URL in the CLI, AWS CLI, and HTTPS connection to list the object in my demo bucket. Again, we'll use the same endpoint DNS name and use the list command to list object in that bucket. And we'll access that via the interface style endpoint. You can see I have one object in my demo bucket that I'm able to see and access via the interface style endpoints. Next, I'll show you how to use the gateway type endpoint via the standard S3 regional DNS uh, name, which will then go via the gateway endpoint because of the routing rule that we have in a routing table to access the same object in my demo bucket. Yeah, you can see that we have accessed the same object in the bucket via the interface endpoint and now the gateway endpoint. That concludes our demo for today. Thank you so much for your time.